Welcome Frontliners! I'm going to be covering how to set up a hosted server for the recently launched game The Front. While there are official servers, playing on those mean you and your friends are at the mercy of someone else's rules. You can't prevent cheaters and if someone wants to grief you, you're playing out of luck. Setting up your own server with your friends and gaming community is often an affordable option that is much preferred. I'm going to leave a link in the description, it is an affiliate link, along with a 10% monthly discount code that you can use to save yourself some money. For quick transparency, this is not a sponsored video and although I do partner with Pink Perfect, having used them for many years across many games, I am not being paid or sponsored by Pink Perfect to make this video. They have a very competitive offering, which is why I've been using them for years for all my server needs. First of all, click the link and head over to the site. There are a bunch of game server options. If you can't find the front on the front page, get it, get it. <laughs> head over to game servers where you can actually search for it and find it that way. So let's type in the front and we can click here. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see that you can choose to pay in pound, USD or Euro, your choice. Pink Perfect Service comes with a host of standard features. Setup is instantly started automatically and gets done in minutes. There's a lot of global locations, we'll get to that. Everything is backed up, it does run on enterprise hardware, which is really important. There's a money back guarantee, free web hosting, I use it, there's file access, there's even some free debranding that saves you some money, we'll get to that in a while as well, along with customer support 24-7. There's game switching when you are tired of the game and want to switch to something else, DDoS protection and a really easy to use control panel for both the desktop and mobile. It is really simple to use, heck, if I can use it, you shouldn't have any problems with it. I'm going to select USD because that's how I pay. Do take note of the further discounts that you can apply. And as you go through the options, keep an eye on the order summary on the right side just to track your expenditure. Right off the bat, I would suggest hitting a quarterly billing cycle. With the 10% discount my code gives, you end up with a 50% discount every month. That's about two months a year free, and it does add up. You can of course go to semi-annually and even annually for a whopping 25% off total, which gives you even more discount. This is actually a great option if you have a gaming community, as you can easily change the game server to another game, say 7 days to die arc or conan when you're done with the front and keep that huge discount there are plenty of locations globally there's a bunch in europe there's a bunch in the us you can even see some down in south america there's even some down in asia even though in singapore where i'm located it is sold out right now this does get updated continually depending on demand and when they put in new servers i'm going to choose chicago as far as service hosted, I tend to just go on the standard SSD. If you are running a big server with a lot of game slots, it might be worth to push it over to NVMe. Otherwise, just select SSD. Memory quota is default 8GB. Huge servers with massive builds might require more, but it's always a good suggestion to just start off with the default. Do take note of the server branding. If you check on the right side, you'll see that we're saving 2 USD per bill just to brand it as hosted by Pink Perfect. It is a no-brainer to me. I'm all for saving money. For support, I normally just go with the normal support. If you do need extra help, say setting things up, you can actually choose that. But honestly, unless you have certain special needs, it normally would not be required. Coming down to the game slots, this is normally where the big costs come in. It relates to concurrent players, let's say I have 10 now and you can bump it all, all the way to 100. I'm going to leave it at 10 for now. It's generally where you start off, but unless you have a big community where everyone is on the same time, just start off with 10. You can scale it up though, but you can change it even on the fly later on. Standard rule of thumb as always, don't overdo it, start small and just add slot when you notice that interest in your server exceeds the available slots and you need to bump it up. CPU priority is something you can pay for. However, I generally use normal priority. Some games, some communities can benefit from higher CPU priority, but I'd still recommend going normal and seeing how that works out. 
let's look at the bottom where I fill out the host name. So we're going to do test. And also remember to add by pingperfect.com if you have selected the branding, which is saving you some money. And hit, then hit that continue. We're now at the review and checkout. Do a double check of your settings. While they can be changed later on, it's just much easier if you get it right off the bat. We're going to go down here to the promo codes, type in Vidui, and then validate the code. Bam! Promotion code accepted. You'll see we are now getting an extra $4.40 per billing cycle discount which meant we went from 44 quarterly with a discount even less. All good? Hit checkout. You will need an account with Pink Perfect, so put in your details, any billing, or you can actually sign up with Facebook as well. These are my stuff. Obviously, it's not my real name or anything. You'll also need to set up an account with password. Review your payment methods. PayPal is really easy. Credit card works as well, or PaySafe, Squill, or Bitcoin. Take in read and agree to the terms of service to click and have a look at those as well and then click complete the order we're halfway there have a look at your invoice now that all that is done your order has been sent over to ping perfect's automated system which goes through and then starts installing the game server this normally takes at most a few minutes so go get yourself some coffee a few moments later when you come back go check your email you should be having some emails from pingperfect.com one of them will be to confirm that your order has been successful. It does mention that a server is now installing and further emails will be sent to you upon completion. And specifically, don't try to log into the game panel until you get those emails because it's not going to be done. You don't want to have it mess anything up. After a while, you will receive two more emails. The first one will be to tell you that the server has been created. It'll give the IP and stuff like that, as well as the location of the game panel. Keep this one in mind, as well as your username. It will not tell you the password. That will be in another email called your game panel details, which will have the password. It's sent separately for security, but hit the game panel of pingperfect.com and open up in the browser. We're here now, username, password, keep me logged in and log in. And this is our 10 slot, the front server. First thing we want to do, stop the server. It is running, but it's not being configured. It's just using default configurations, which are generally not what you want. So hit stop. There are a few panels here that I will go through. First, we're going to go through the, some of the configuration files. Then we're going to look at updating the server from Steam, schedule tasks, but go ahead and hit that configuration files button. This brings us to the server config. We're going to click the config editor. And there will be a lot of options in here. Hovering over sometimes will tell you a little bit of information about how this one actually applies. We're going to start off just calling it test ved and password. Unless you're running an open server, you might want to have a, just a password. You can just hit one here. Just makes it easy. One of the most important thing is, do you want to have PVE or PVP? If you're just playing in a community, PVE might be the way to go as well as can you damage yourself? Can you damage friends? We're going to scroll down here to server admin accounts. As it mentions, you put in your 17 digit Steam ID that you can get from somewhere like steamid.io. Put that in and gives you the highest level of permission. And like I said, there's a lot of settings, which is actually really good. If we hover over here, for instance, this is how many seconds that items that you throw will be discarded. 300 seconds, which is obviously five minutes. How long does it take for items to despawn after death? 1800 by default, I tend to increase it if I'm playing on a PVE server. One setting you might want to change down on structure settings is the GM max house flag number. Max number of beacons each player can build. If you're just playing on a PVE server with your friends, you might probably increase that to two or three, just to allow your friends to have multiple bases around the world. If you find that resource acquisition is a little bit grindy, you could just multiply it. Double tree, double wood double or for instance, and so on. It just makes that a little bit faster. But with that, we're going to save and exit. Let's go back to the main page and have a look at updating server from Steam. The server is generally installed using the latest version, but it's always good practice to just go and have a look here. Try and update it because sometimes it is slightly older because that might have just been a recent update. It is important that your server and your client are running the same versions. If your client is updating, 
go to your server, get it shut down and update it so it will match whatever you're having on the client. This is important, otherwise you'll have issues logging in. You'll see a bunch of things happening here in the background where they have a look at it, it downloads, it verifies the installation, blah, blah, blah. And at the bottom, it'll say process has completed, which means we can go back to the main panel. At this point, we can hit start to get the server started because of course you want it up so you can log into it. So hit that start button and it will take a while for it to load up and be accessible. While that is happening, we're going to go to schedule tasks. We're going to hit new. I'm going to have a look at scheduled start, stop and restart and new as well. Now, why would you want to do this? I'm going to put it as a daily restart. Like with any server you have, over time, there will be some memory loss and having a daily restart is generally a pretty good way of just clearing everything out and ensuring that it runs pretty well. So we're going to just do a daily and we can set the time, say at 8 a.m. Hopefully no one is there and just save. What this basically means is that oh, we need to put in the date and time. We're going to start off with, let's see, let's do it from Monday and let's try and save again what this basically does is that starting on monday at 8 p.m well actually does this at 12 a.m well okay it will just do a, just a restart of the server just to clear out any memory loss etc that might have occurred especially for early access games this does happen which is really important to just clear it all out and make it run better and by now, if you see it saying a 0 out of 10, it generally means that the server is up. So let's go into the game and try to log in. We start the game and hit servers. And then we're going to go to dedicated servers and going to do a search. We call our stitch vet, I believe. And it'll search a little bit. And it'll find it. The ping will depend on where you're located and where your server is located. And we're going to just hit it. It'll tell you blah, 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 and connect. Oh, password. Well, hopefully you remember the password. We just put one. So we're going to confirm. And the game will ask you to just create a character. We're going to do one, confirm, start. At this point, if you have the same version, it will load into the game. We are here. So we're going to select this one and confirm and spawn in our character. Waking up. Come on, get up, get up, get up! No late. Oh, 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 are we actually starting outside? Oh, that's a bit of a scary place to start. I wonder if there's enemies there. But as you see, I am now on the server. My server that I've just set up. Simple, right? Hey, but what if you're having some problems? You thought you did everything right and something is still going wrong. Let's go back to the game panel. So what's happening? Well, a very common thing is that people go to the configuration files and they mess something up. You know, if the config is expecting a one or two or three and you put in blah, 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 and then the game doesn't start. So to go and verify that. If you still, still can't figure that out, you can go up here and click on get support. There is a knowledge base that you also can read through as well, but if everything else fails, hit get support. Open a support ticket to Pink Perfect customer service and they will do what they can to help you resolve it so you can get on and play your game. But it really is that easy. So go ahead, try out getting a server and enjoy playing with your friends using your rules where you are in control. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this server setup guide and make sure you hit that like button, subscribing and if you have any comments, put that below the video in the discussion section. But good luck surviving!